Hello, good people. So I hope you enjoyed Halloween, if that's something that you celebrate. If not, overall, I do hope that you had a great weekend and that your week is starting out to be great also. So last night on 90 Day Fiance, um, I'm only interested in Jenny and Summit. So I fast forward through the other couples, I'm sorry to say. Um, I think they need to recast. We need more interesting people. I don't believe the storylines of the other people that's on the show. And Jenny and Summit may not be true either, but it's very interesting to me. So I fast forward past all the other couples and I only look for Jenny and Summit. So last week we saw that Submit parents came over. Um, they came to stay at the house and we witnessed how nasty Jenny kept her kitchen. And of course, I've heard many people say, well, that's her house and that's the way she wants it to be. Okay, but yet and still, shame on Jenny because that was nasty. I mean, and even if that's the way you, if you feel comfortable in your filth, and we're trying to be clean these days. I mean, we are dealing with COVID and any other prior um, diseases that's been out there due to uncleanliness. So it's good to clean up. And then especially when you have your in-laws coming over, I always thought it was a rule of thumb to do, you know, even extra cleaning for your, for your um, in-laws. It's like, why would you want to show up to a hotel or anywhere that you're going to stay and it's filthy? That's disgusting, you know? So we had that going on last week. So last night's episode, we um, come to Jenny and Submit having the in-laws um, waking up the next morning. The in-laws are waking up early and Submit approached them in their bedroom that they spent the night in. And um, he asked them about how they, if, if they rested well. Of course, the mom, she said that she didn't sleep well. The fan was too high. And then they ask about Jenny because in Indian culture, it's where the wife should be like one of the first people to get up six o'clock in the morning. I'm like, okay, so it's really a, being a, a, I would say being a wife or in, even a husband, it is a, a job, especially because I see marriage as a partnership. So, of course, it's a job, but it seemed like a definite job and many tasks to do in the Indian culture. Um, submit parents were saying that they expected Jenny to be up already. And in the Indian culture, they get the wife gets up like 6 o'clock a.m. <laughs> yeah, like clocking in at the house, 6 o'clock a.m., to take care of the many duties around the house. And um, they usually start out with exercise and prayer before they start their day. So they were expecting Jenny to be up already. However, Submit tells the parents that Jenny was sick all night and she was still in the bed. And you know, the mom was not buying that. Um, Smith was saying that Jenny had diarrhea all night. She was up throwing up and everything. And I'm not laughing at her being ill. I'm just thinking back to what the mom and, you know, how the father was reacting. They did not believe Smith. They did not believe that Jenny was sick. And they even made a comment that they didn't hear anyone throwing up through the night. So it's like they was not believing that BS. That's how they was taking it as straight BS. And then the mom commented that she's been sick and had very, very bad diarrhea. Yet and still she would get up and she would take care of her family, you know. So, of course, they go to Jenny's bedroom, Jenny and Smith's bedroom. And Jenny is laying in the bag, bed and I have to say it does seem like she was pretending. Like Jenny's just straight up sick sick of the ish. You know what I'm saying? That lady had Jenny bending and cleaning and Jenny don't clean up like that. We witnessed that. Jenny is not that clean. And so when Submit mom came that initial day and had her clean up the house, that wore Jenny out. So Jenny wasn't trying to get up the very next day at six in the, in the morning to start doing anything. However, they approached her <laughs> in her bedroom <laughs> And they made her ass get up. So she got up. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so funny. So Jenny decides to get up. She goes and take her bath. And then the mom is still complaining that Jenny's making them wait. And they, you know, she's wondering how long she's going to keep them waiting. So once Jenny takes her bath, they go to an outside area of the home. And 
um, Samit's mom, Jenny, and the father, they <laughs> they do yoga. And so come to find out, find out, Jenny, um, Samit's mom used to be a yoga instructor and she is like an expert. That lady, I mean, she is so flexible. It was like unbelievable. I was, she really impressed me and she really had me interested into, um, getting, getting into yoga, like trying to make that my, um, weekly routine at least two or three days out of the week, because that lady is flexible. Oh my goodness. She was really getting, she was very flexible. And of course, she outdid our girl Jenny because Jenny doesn't exercise. She doesn't get into stretching or any, any of those things. And of course, the mom, she compared herself to Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, and you know, she's always trying to not Jenny about her age, but you know. <laughs> Jenny did participate with the yoga. So she she was being a good sport, even though you could tell it was something that um of course, she wasn't used to. So they did another step that was quite strange to me. And I'm sure many of you out there, um, the father, he took some type of string like thing and he put it through his nose and put it out through his throat. And that's the way of them cleaning the dust, dust particles, you know, out of their sinuses. I could not watch it. I kept looking away and holding down my head because it was making me gag just from, you know, from them doing it on TV. So, of course, our girl Jeannie could not do that. So she was like, no way she was going to do that. And she told them that she would try next time. But <laughs> I highly doubt she would do that because it just seems so disgusting. I mean, I know a lot of people, uh, everyone comes from different cultures and every cultures have their own thing but from what i how <laughs> i've came up and what i know to clear my sinuses i mean simply blow my nose in the morning with some tissue <laughs> i've seen people blow their nose and some of everything but i'm not trying to stick anything up my nose and pull it through my throat but of course, if that's something that you was raised to do and something you're used to, then you're more comfortable with it. But of course, our girl, Jenny, she was not interested in that. And I also want to note when Jenny, um, when Samit said Jenny was up all night throwing up and had diarrhea on the episode before, the week before, Samit did mention to me, um, Jenny, that his desire was for Jenny and his parents that they all live in the same house and jenny said this is the first she's ever heard of that so i wouldn't be surprised if that stirred up some nerves within jenny and um you know that could have gave her a little diarrhea because submit continues to be with the shits i tell you so i can see her having diarrhea and um uh, being uneasy from getting that news from submit because he's always bringing up something um so it was quite interesting and I'm going to continue to stay tuned to see how things pan out for Jenny and Samit. And I hope that 90 Day Fiance the, the Other Way um, brings about more interesting couples. I'm just not interested in the other couples. But um, I may go back and watch and see if anything pops out that I miss. But I'm definitely not interested in Evelyn and Corey. I think it's fake. And even if it is real, Corey is a dumbass because... Evelyn, she's been unfaithful to him before, and she just doesn't seem genuine. And it's like she's just with him for whatever coins she can get from him. I don't know what money he's he's making, but even if it's just 50 cents, I think she's just there to take whatever he has from, from him. I don't see any genuine love there at all. So leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. And um, I hope you continue to have a great day and a great week.